Right, there she is, people. Not a lot to change on the outside. We've got new uh, daps on. Some Audis. What we've done on the outside is we fitted oh, a sliding window on the driver's side. We've got the reverse camera. Passenger side there, and I got a spare wheel underneath at the moment because the the daps are too wide for the carrier underneath. I got to alter it, and then we got a fixed window on this side. I know I should have videoed cut in and putting them in, but I didn't, so I do apologise. Nothing else to change really on the outside. I haven't lowered it. I'm keeping it the height that is. I enjoy the ride, and next will be the bodywork. But for now, we got our glamorous assistant who's going to open up the back and show what we've done so far right so we got some bench seat in if my lovely assistant can go and open the side door there's some light in we've got full carpet in to the headline in we've got LED lights these are working off the original door switches but instead of being run off the van battery I've just wired them up into the leisure battery which I'll show you in a minute but we got two LEDs that can be knocked on and off independently as well like I said all carpeted round right from the front cab all the way through both sides we've got some grab rails each side which are into the bo the main body for hanging things off such as the fan marvelous fan on Amazon where's the switch there it is it's a rechargeable fan three speed last six to eight hours on a charge or you can run it off USB so for power we've got double USB each side we've also got a double USB down under the countertop down there I just use that for placement of the the bed board at the moment so that's the bed board I'll take some photos of that when it's up for you to see I'm not gonna video put it up but I'll just take some photos at the moment we got two camping seats fold out table and that's our cook board that if we want to cook outside so we don't burn through the table little cupboard in the corner Open it. We've got a cigarette lighter underneath and a voltmeter that's hooked up to the battery. Like I say, I'll show you all this now once we open the cupboards. So we just got that's the other double USB there behind our flap. All these have run off the leisure battery. We got curtains in. I've still got to put a little bit of more four-way stretch carpet over the edges but we got curtains each side and we're ready to put the back ones in as well front cab is relatively the same just changed out the head unit for the reverse camera my little caddy tidy and my front camera so assistant now will show us the, the front cupboard standard latch and then you've got tins, toilet roll, cookers and frying pans and knives and forks, general cooking stuff in there. And the first bench seat, the long bench seat, yep. lifts up. At the moment we're going to sort these out but we've got, starting from the front, our leisure battery is behind you. Yes it's, ve it's well ventilated, there's gaps everywhere. So we've got our fuses all written on so far. Leisure battery, water container, gas, first aid kit, sleeping bag, bits and bobs, windbreak, this, that and the other at the moment. We've got to go through the cupboards. So I'll pop out through the back so that assistant can show the rest. Good. And this side, the short side, we've got bed, battery pump to blow up the bed, some blankets, some games, silicone that I got to use to go around the edge in, hot water bottles, <laughs> got to have hot water <laughs> bottles in that one and then 
the center unit serves a couple of functions so we got a front opener for getting bits and bobs we've got the kettle some jackets in there some flip-flops or thongs for australia we've got a, a throw cooker various bits and bobs so that's if we've got the back door open we can access that way or we can access through the top yep just pull him up so obviously I'm going to line these eventually with some four-way carpet as well, just to soften them up. But like you see, that's a normal standard size kitchen towel, so you can see quite a bit of room in there. So if Joanne drops that down and I hand the camera over to Joe. Before we do that, I think we'll show you the special fittings. If you can see those two black dots, if we're out, and it's raining and we don't get wet what are we going to do what are we going to do we're going to use <laughs> his and hers brollies Ta -da! and that's all they are is some 40 mil waste pipe drilled through put onto brackets and as it happens, the long golfing umbrellas are a nice snug fit. So we got one each side, one all black for the men, one pink and black for the ladies. So I'll pass over the camera to Joe and I'll show you the trick. So obviously now the bed is going to rest. You come in a bit. Yep. The, re the bed is going to rest on the back and down each side and on the top of this cupboard but that means if we want anything out of this cupboard we've got to get out open this door and access from the back but what i thought was because i still want to carry bikes on the van as well so i thought if i make this removable that handles inside she'll go on top of this cupboard in the night so the bed can still go Cross, plus we can access whatever we need at this cupboard. Our bed goes from here to this edge when it's fully inflated, so that's all the room we need. But we've got double pins covered. I can still get bikes in, we can use it in the nights, or we can leave it underneath if we got everything out. I also put channels in the back because I still want to be able to use my tie downs for when I put vehicles, bikes, you name it in here. Just push it back, it's against the back door when it's shut so it's nice and secure. So I'll have the back. So there you are, there's a quick walk around of what we've done so far. There's still more plans, I've got a bigger leisure battery coming probably this week to fit as well. Last run off a split charger. Um, the video is on the channel if you want to have a look. But apart from that, like I say, there's nothing done in the cab at the moment. I would like at some point to cover the door cards with some nice vinyl, black vinyl. Um, obviously, get the seats reupholstered in a vinyl, um, a nice van mat, door for the glove box. But apart from that, it's a usable camper van now. Yes, like I said, the outside is going to be addressed. But so there you are. I'll um, take some pictures of when we got the bed up. We're going away this weekend, so I may even bring you along, do a time lapse, and we'll put the bed up, and you can have a look at the bed then and see how it fits with everything else. So we're going to go now. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. bye.